do that. But mm -mm. Anyway. Okay. So I'm just gonna start talking about it, I think. All right, so welcome to our presentation. I'm Tiana and this is Valerie. And we we're talking about tips and tricks to everyday eating and fitting in exercise. Um, so the first section is everyday eating. So we're mostly talking about everything to do with eating. <laughs> Um, so when making recipes, make sure you know how much is in the serving size and typically containers will say the serving size is this and then this is how many servings are in this packaging and um, when making recipes, um, I've noticed in more modern recipes they tell you how much a serving size is and um, but in older recipes, like if you have family recipes, it'll say how many it will serve, but not how much is a serving size. So just you just have to be mindful of that. And um, I would suggest looking it up online if you can, if you have the resources, and seeing um, what a similar recipe today, what a serving size would be. And um, to save uh, food, you can put them in the freezer to preserve them so that you can eat it later if you're getting tired of leftovers. <laughs> you want to go? Okay. All right. Um, tips to help control portions is using smaller dishes because um, we know that when we have bigger dishes, our eyes are bigger and we want to fill it up. And then I'm from the generation, I think a lot of people are because we all have mothers who are like, eat everything on your plate or your bowl. So you can please your mother by picking a smaller <laughs> bowl or plate and eating it all. <laughs> and follow the recommendations for serving sizes on packaging. Um, so Tia and I went to Winco and um, these are good, Winco is a great place to go because you can buy things in bulk and uh, we were concerned about pricing so when you're buying in bulk, um, you're finding less expensive items. Um, this cream of tartar was on sale, but it's still cheaper to buy it in bulk and put it in your own containers. You can also buy the containers there, or if you already have a cream of tartar container, just keep filling it up. Um, but uh, so instead of adding salt and sauces that are full of sodium, sugar, fat, um, just add lots of spices yourself to make them tasty and you will probably enjoy them a lot more and it's much healthier for your body. Um, and use reusable containers from foods that you've purchased, um, yogurt containers, um, spaghetti sauce jars and such like that. And you can reuse those. I know my mom used a lot of like Cool Whip bowls. <laughs> 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 but um, they already have measurements on them. Like you can get a yogurt container with a lid and it says a one cup serving. So wash those out and reuse them. And that's like a quick added tip to like when you want to have a snack, just fill it up. You know you're having one cup of whatever you choose. Um, but make sure you have a nice roll of masking tape and a Sharpie because you want to label everything. Because when you're looking in the refrigerator, you don't want to have to open up every single container. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, what is in this one? So you want to label it with um, the food that's in it, the calories. if. Um, if you have time and the date it should be eaten by because how many times have you guys had leftovers and you're like how long has this been in here? <laughs> 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 and that's it. Uh, something I wanted to add was um, in the summer it's always fun to grow herbs and put it on your food because then you get to see um, your garden be used and it's really tasty yeah. with the herbs. And then you can dry your own herbs yeah. and fill the your reusable containers. All right. <laughs> Take it a while. There we go. All right. So if you do want to go out to eat and you're not going to plan on prepping your own food, like say you do it 90% of the time you prep your own food, but we all deserve a little treat, somebody else to make us food, um, go ahead and go out for lunch. Um, but when you're there, make sure you ask for a to-go container right away. Put half of your food in the to-go container and um, eat half of it that day and then you have lunch for another day. So we went to Mod Pizza 
one mod pizza, it's pretty big for one um, sitting, so we put half of it in right away, and so each lunch was only $4, and we drink water. But, um, so, on average, Americans spend 20 to $50 a week on eating out. So that can add up. So this is a way to kind of cut down on that. Um, and 54% of employees purchase lunch two or more times per week. So that adds up. And I think I clicked it. <laughs> there you go. All right. Uh, this is another time we went out. This is um, a, a teriyaki and pho restaurant. And typically, they're such big portions that it already has two in it. Um, however, this pho was uh, a large, and it's $11, and a small is nine, nine fifty. So it's only a dollar fifty difference if you get the large and split it into two. So that's what we did. We went ahead and ate, and then we just saved half of it for later. Um, and it's nice to have leftovers because then you get to taste that yummy thing twice. What's what the bowl? Um, it's a Vietnamese soup, mm -hmm. so it's broth and noodles, and that is um, uh, Thai basil and bean sprouts. Anyway, and you're going to reduce your calories because you're not going to eat it all in one sitting. You're going to save money, reduce calories, and have a lunch for another day. I know that a lot of people like to get pho when they're not feeling well because it's nice and tasty and warm. Yeah. <laughs> um, so the next slide is about freezer meals. And this is a new concept to me, so um, I'll go ahead and explain it. But you put all your ingredients into a freezer gallon bag and um, all ingredients raw and then you can prep a bunch of these at one time and then put them in the freezer and then once you're ready to use them you can put them in the fridge the day before and so that they thaw and then the morning of when you're ready to use it you go ahead and put it in the crock pot and um, so like this recipe, it's kind of tiny font, but it says to cook for 46 hours on low. And um, it's a really great way to um, save time and money. And um, also remember to prep fresh fruits and veggies um, throughout the week so you have uh, fruits and vegetables if your meal doesn't have fruits and vegetables in it. Um, and also we have handouts available for you. So we'll give those out at the end. With the prepping fruits and veggies at the beginning of the week, it's when you're in a hurry, you don't want to like chop up a cucumber or apples right then and there. It's nicer to just have them in the refrigerator and you can grab a portion mm -hmm. or you can pre-portion everything out. <laughs> so this is one of my meal preps. These are my um, lunches throughout the week. I don't do this. I don't do salads every week, but these are actually turkey containers. My son has a turkey and cheese sandwich every day for lunch, and oh, I wow. keep all these containers because they're the perfect size for a salad. And then um, I like, I don't love spring mix, so I add arugula into it, <laughs> and that way I'm getting lots of different greens. Mm -hmm. And then I have these containers, and I put um, chopped carrots and cucumbers and um, like grape tomatoes in it, because I don't want it on the greens throughout the week, so I'll put them on there fresh when I'm going to eat. And then I just have a packet of tuna if I want more protein or something. And then that's a Laura bar. I don't always have those, but that was like a quick snack instead of like an apple or something I needed to slice up. I thought I would have a Laura bar. And then that's my oh, water. Sorry. <laughs> always drink lots of water. Um, so, and bento boxes are another thing. So um, those before were like reusable containers that you can use from um, previous food items. But bento boxes are something you can purchase um, like Amazon or Walmart. Um, yes. <laughs> All right, there it is. Um, this is 21 bento boxes. Um, so that's three weeks of meals, but I wouldn't do that. I would maybe for three people for a week, or you can mm -hmm. just have a bunch on hand. 
So $13.49 for 21 bento boxes, and it's great for meal prep. So if you're not gonna have something that is you want touching, like I know a lot of people don't like everything to touch, you can have a nice, um, the big portion can be for all of your vegetables, because you want more vegetables. One corner for a starch or carbohydrate, and one quarter for a protein or something, and then everything's separated out and it's nice. They're fairly inexpensive. It's nice because they'll stack together when there's nothing in them, and they also stack nicely on top of each other when everything's prepped and you have them in the refrigerator and it looks nice. Um, so we, went, we all, when we went to Winco, I also took pictures of um, bulk. So you can see this is the bulk um, section and then I went and found the same product in the packaged aisle. Um, so when you, do, when you do your grocery shopping, it's best to shop around the perimeter of the store because you'll find um, whole foods, less packaged foods, so like fruits, vegetables, the deli section, um, the meat counter, and typically you'll find dairy. And um, Winco bulk section is a great resource to help you save money and you get the amount that you will use and what you need. Um, so the bulk section, it was about 93 cents for a pound and then the um, packaged cane sugar was 270 for two pounds. So the difference is 84 pounds, or uh, sorry, 84 cents, and you'll save money by getting bulk. Um, so we also wanted to touch on water consumption. Uh, water improves um, cognitive function, so your memory, visual perception, and speed of processing. And we found that in a study, so we wanted to add that in. And uh, we both have water bottles that we really like using, and so it helps motivate us to use water or drink water. And we like to spice it up every now and then and do infused water. So you can add lemon, lime, pineapple, mint, and orange. And um, I wanted to show you kind of the pricing. So like I have an Arctic because they are cheaper and I didn't want to spend a lot of money, but Hydro Flask and Yeti are more popular. So they're like the same exact water bottle. Like one of my classmates has a Hydro Flask and she was telling me like, oh, isn't that the Hydro Flask? And I said, no, it's actually the Arctic. And so, um, and you don't have to get these brands, but um, they keep your water colder longer. And I think I put ice cubes in one day and then the next day they're still in there. So they're really nice and I like drinking cold water, so it helps motivate me to drink water. Um, and then uh, we both have used the Plant Nanny app. So it's an app on your phone um, that you, every time you drink water, you water your plant and um, <laughs> you help keep it alive, which, it, and it, gives you notifications as reminders to drink water. So it's kind of fun, um, but yeah. The other thing I like about like the Yeti and the Hydro Flask and Arctic is they're pre-portioned. <laughs> so you know, like I think mine is 24 ounces, so I know how many of those I need to drink in a day. Yeah. So, um, so talking about different foods, we wanted to show you based on your age, how much you should be consuming. And um, for fruit, like one small apple equals a cup, one banana, about 32 grapes, and one large orange. And so, uh, 32. I know it's kind of a lot, <laughs> but that's what the website said on Choose My Plate. So, yeah. And then the next you can one. Eat more too. Yeah. <laughs> it's nature's candy. <laughs> next one is vegetables. So, um, it's interesting because different um, vegetables, like such as spinach, one cup cooked is equivalent to one cup, but two cups raw is equivalent to one cup. So it's kind of interesting. Uh, 12 baby carrots, one large bell pepper, one large sweet potato, and a large ear of corn. So it's good it's to not, be mindful. So it's not that overwhelming, right? Yeah. Is that hard? <laughs> 
Um, and then grains. So at least um, of all the grains that you eat, uh, whole grains should be half and not multigrain because some packages say multigrain, but you want to look for whole grain on labels. Um, and then one ounce of grains is equivalent to half a cup of cooked rice and half a cup of cooked pasta, one small flour tortilla, three cups pop popcorn, which I thought was interesting, half cup oatmeal, and one small slice of bread. So you What's can... What's the difference in the two columns? Um, so, oh, well, that's a good question. I don't remember. Sorry. Maybe, yeah, could, one could be refined. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Um, and then the next is protein. So uh, one egg is equivalent to one ounce, 12 almonds, 24 pistachios, a fourth cup of cooked beans. And then one small steak is about 3.5 to 4 ounces and one small chicken breast, a half of that is about three ounces, a can of tuna is three to four ounces, and one salmon <laughs> steak <laughs> is four to six ounces. Talk about dairy. <laughs> and uh, this is for dairy. Um, there's a lot of speculation on dairy or almond milk or whatever, but um, it's all, you know, just get your dairy in. Uh, an equivalent is one cup, and this is for women. I'm in the I need three cups a day category, and that's including you. cheese, milk, yogurt, mm -hmm. um, cottage cheese, soy milk, almond milk. Mm -hmm. um, so you can see it's all pretty much the same. We all need three cups. <laughs> <laughs> and for fats and oils, um, so when you're having your salad dressing, you know, uh, instead of purchasing it, you can use olive oil so you know what's in it. And there's lots of yummy flavored olive oils, lemon, basil, and infused olive oils. And you can add, add vinegar and seasonings and stuff. But when you're making your salads or you're making your steak or your salmon, that's about how many you should be getting. I should be getting about five teaspoons a day. And only younger women need more. And for fiber, everyone's favorite, right? <laughs> Lots of vegetables, oatmeal. Um, uh, women my age need 25 grams a day, and that's a pretty big range, so it's easy to remember, right? 25 grams of fiber. Um, men my age need 38. Um, fiber helps with lowering blood pressure and reduce constipation. Um, these are some great apps that you can use to help track your food. Um, and uh, some of these are actually dual. You can track your food and your exercise, like my fitness pal. But um, Fitbit's great, and Apple Watches are great too. They don't, Apple Watch doesn't do nutrition, but it does do exercise, and you can also keep up. I think both with Fitbit and Apple Watch, you can track your friends who have the same mm -hmm. app, and you can get on them if they're not exercising. <laughs> All right. So fitting in exercise. Right. So some things to take into consideration. Um, I've heard this recently, sitting is the new smoking. And I think that's really good to keep in mind when you are having a day that you're more sedentary or sitting around. It's always good to be moving around. So any movement is better than no movement. And just moving your body around it's really good for you and then um, choose exercise that you enjoy so it's more fun to do something if you find joy in it than something that you don't enjoy um, and something else I think is interesting is like parking away from the grocery store or the mall so you get more steps in and I noticed that the days I go window shopping <laughs> um, I tend to get a lot more steps in and so even just going and looking around at a store is actually good for you because you're moving around. And then that's a picture of a standing desk. Um, if you do work in an office setting, sometimes you can get standing desks put in. 
I don't know if there's a cost to you, but um, yeah, something yeah. to keep in mind. And pick a friend to exercise with. Yeah, fun. yeah. <laughs> All right, these are general guidelines for exercise. Um, so we just picked moderate intensity for everybody, and that is 64 to 76% of your age predicted heart rate max. So we put this equation up here. So how you find your age predicted heart rate max is you take 220 minus your age, and then depending on your intensity you want. So moderate is 0.64% to 0.76%. And I did uh, 40 years old as an example. So 220 minus 40 equals 180 times 0.64 and times 0.76 gives you a range of, shoot for 115 to 127 beats per minute. So you know how you want to exercise. And that um, equals to your RPE scale, a rate of perceived exertion of a 12 to 13 on a scale of 16, 6 to 20. Um, and you should do aerobic exercise three to five days a week, uh, 30 to 60 minutes per day. Um, you can break that up too. Strength training two to three days a week, and you should wait 48 hours before um, between training sessions for the same muscle group. So if you're going to work your arms, wait 48 hours before you do your legs. But if you want to work out every day, do your arms one day, your legs the next. Um, and that's two to four sets of eight to 12 reps um, with two minutes of rest in between. And uh, studies have shown that even one training session a week improves your strength. Um, and flexibility is important. It helps from keep you from falling, um, keeps you agile. Um, uh, so do flexibility exercises, stretching two to three days a week, and hold until light, a tight, slight discomfort for 30 to 60 seconds for each stretch. And you should do that after muscles are warmed. So after cardio and strength training, do your stretching. So benefits of regular exercise include improvements in cardiovascular and respiratory function, uh, reduction in cardiovascular risk factors, so decreased heart disease, um, and higher activity fitness levels are associated with lower death rates from cardiocoronary artery disease, and higher fitness levels are associated with lower incidence rates from cardiovascular disease, coronary artery disease, type 2 diabetes, metabolic syndrome, osteoporotic fractures, and cancer of the colon and breast. And that's like a primary prevention of those. And then, so obviously exercise is good for you. And you can see that it lowers risk. And then a secondary prevention is what exercise is used for like after a cardiac event. So like a heart attack. And then another benefit is decreased anxiety, depression, and also that it improves cognitive function. And yeah. So um, if you do work in an office setting, this was the, one of the first things that I thought of was um, you can get a standing desk at your desk or um, have a stability ball. So I've seen um, chairs that have stability balls in them. Um, it's kind of interesting. I used to work in an office as an intern when I was in high school, so I did see one person have a stability ball. Um, and then take the stairs as often as you can, get your heart rate up, and when you do consume more water, you're, you tend to have to go to the bathroom more, which equals more breaks for you, and water consumption is good for you in general, so it's a win-win. <laughs> Um, be accountable with your coworkers. So creating a walking group at work. I know that when I did work in the office setting, um, people would say, hey, do you want to go, go for a walk on this break? And so it was always cool to see people working out together just by going for a walk. We do that as students in between when we have breaks. We yeah. Go for walks around here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Everybody's been sitting too long. It's the new smoking. Everybody take a stand up real quick. <laughs> Get those little jiggles out and do a couple, maybe a couple chair squats. Um, while we go through this, everybody has to stand. <laughs> so this is exercising at home. You can do body weight exercises, squats and push-ups. And push-ups can either be on the floor or against the wall. 
and that way you can kind of control and make sure you're protecting your body. Um, and planks and lunges, and planks are when you're on the floor and you're engaging your core. Uh, join a walking group at home, go to the mall, do that window shopping, but don't mm -hmm. buy anything. <laughs> <laughs> um, get the whole family involved because when everybody is involved, it's easier to exercise. Mm -hmm. um, bike riding is good on a trail and stuff. So, uh, And then find a hobby you enjoy maybe with your family or with some friends such as tennis or just hiking. We have beautiful trails and stuff, so go do that. All right, you can all sit down. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so going for a walk, uh, exercising and elliptical, these are all nice, easy things that people can do, um, almost at all uh, capabilities. So you should be fitting in um, at least 30 minutes a day, and you can break that up 10 minutes in the morning, 10 minutes at lunch, and 10 minutes after dinner. Um, what is also important to think about is you can get this in in the morning, but it's important to watch your sleep too. If you go to bed at the same time every night, get a good night's sleep, you're gonna get up and you're gonna be able to get up early. And when you've had enough sleep, you're more inclined to exercise. And so it's important to get your sleep and exercise. Um, so you can get your 10 minutes in the morning with a coffee break or before you even go to work, uh, 10 minutes at lunch and 10 minutes after dinner. Um, and also, another note is, I usually drink about four to six ounces of water right before I go to bed. I know people are like, don't do that, because then you have to get up and go to the bathroom. Well, it usually ends up being about the time I need to get up anyway, and so once I'm up, I'm up. <laughs> <laughs> so I go to the bathroom, and then I'm up, and then I know I need to go work out, so. Um, so these are some of the exercise apps. Um, Valerie touched on some of them when we were talking about nutrition apps. Uh, My Fitness Pal. Map My Fitness. So I used to use Map My Fitness when I was training for a half marathon, and um, I also used Fitbit. So I would use them interchangeably. They're great apps for even just walking. You can map your route and see how long you walked, and I think it's visually appealing. Charity Miles. So for those that enjoy running, there's this uh, app that donates different. You can pick the charity that you want your um, miles to go to so like every mile is so many dollars and so that's kind of cool. Um, Pinterest is a good resource because I know that I seek out Pinterest when I need new ideas for exercises. Um, there's an app called Lose It and then the Apple Watch tracks your fitness and then YouTube is a great resource if you just want to work out at home. You can just pick if you want to do yoga Go ahead and type it in and lots of different things um, pop up. I know when we were getting ready for our group exercise class, we were doing step aerobics and we definitely used YouTube as a great resource. <laughs> so we had to learn ourselves. It saved us. Yes. <laughs> um, so there are more resources for re recipes, but I just wanted to point out these ones I've, that I've used. Pinterest, and Food Network, and U USDA has a healthy eating on a budget cookbook, which is really helpful because we could all save money by eating on a budget. And then SnapEd is a good resource as well. Um, I know that I, whenever I am on Pinterest, it, you do kind of have to kind of filter it because sometimes it'll take you to blogs and then there's a lot of pop-ups. So just be aware of that. But um, I recently used it to look up <laughs> cookie. Christmas cookie recipes, and it's always fun to use Pinterest if you don't. I don't know. Yeah, when you're on, your, on Pinterest, set a timer. Yes. <laughs> it's a rabbit hole. <laughs> yes, definitely. Yeah. All right, um, and before we move on, we're going to do our activity. So there are four stations set around the room. So each person can go to a different station, and then you're going to switch. Just hit each station once. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to Fruit Loops and Cheerios and you're going to pour a bowl of cereal and there's a pen at each one so you can label the bottom with your name. And um, so pour a bowl of Fruit Loops in that bowl, however much you would eat. Pour a bowl of Cheerios in that bowl, however much you would eat. 
pour a bowl of Fruit Loops in that bowl, how much you think you would eat, and pour a bowl of Cheerios in that bowl, how much you would eat. And then also at each station, we have things you can look at. We have um, the bento boxes, so you can uh, get a closer look at those. Um, over at these Cheerios, we have portion scoops, and they're meant for like food service, but I use them at home too because they're already pre-portioned. I think the blue one is two ounces, so if you're like mashed potatoes, I think are the biggest like, and rice, mm -hmm. <laughs> like those carbohydrates. It's like you want a lot because they're delicious, but if you have that scoop and you know how much you're serving yourself up, because it's hard to use like a measuring cup and scoop it out, and that's mm -hmm. kind of fun because it's like it's like ice cream. <laughs> 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 so scoop it up, give yourself only two ounces or whatever. Um, those we are at URM, or you can buy them on Amazon, and they're about 12 bucks a piece, so they're a little spendy, but if you have a hard time with portion sizing, it's a pretty good resource. And then we also just put measuring cups over there, so you can look at measuring cups, and we all are familiar with them, but they're also a good resource when measuring your food. This station has the reusable containers, um, and, so, and on top are some maybe some snack ideas or lunch ideas, and then we kind of put on there how we might label it um, for packing food for the day. And then after we're all done pouring our bowls of cereal, we're going to weigh them and see how much you actually poured. But be honest, how <laughs> much you would actually pour. <laughs> um, and we also have masking tape and markers over there because it's also just a good idea whenever you open up any container to label it. I know I've had a jar of pickles in my refrigerator for like two years. <laughs> 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 but um, so, and if you have any ideas for the reusable containers, maybe go ahead and write it on. There's a couple we left blank so you can maybe put on there or keep that to yourself and we can talk about it when we're all done. So everybody find a station and pour yourself a bowl of cereal. Make sure you mark on the bottom with your name. <laughs> You're going to do all four. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you see we, we marked on the top of our box when we opened them. Do you want to take this with us then? Yep, keep it with you. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to pick. I wanted to pick uh, Lucky Charms, but we thought we should keep around something. Yeah. But the idea is usually when you have something sweeter, it's more eye pleasing. So you mm. tend to pour more. Yeah. You can imagine <laughs> these are honey nut Cheerios. <laughs> <laughs> I know, honey nut Cheerios are really tasty. <laughs> you can go ahead and stack them, it's okay. I'm sorry, what? The panko container. Oh, um, I don't know. Maybe it says on the bottom. In the packaging? It doesn't say. But we could okay. probably figure it out. Mm-hmm. And this, I think, is a four and a quarter ounces. Okay. Oh, 
like me, like, oh, more. <laughs> I know. Well, you could pick that one then and you just know how much you're having. <laughs> All right, if you're done, we have two scales set up over here, and we'll show you how to use them. So come get in line, and we'll show you. All right, so go ahead and set it down. And this is, so, to turn it on, you turn it on. <laughs> And then we'll do your small bowl first, so and you can we'll put have this bowl on, it. and then you tear it, so then oh. that zeroes it out, and then I'll take this off, and then okay. put that on there. Let's change the unit. So you have 10 grams. Okay. 66. And then do your small bowl. I think so, yeah. That's fine. 26? <laughs> Is that 26? That's 26. Okay. Okay. 64. Okay. And then I'm going to put this one on here and tear it again. Okay, okay. tear it out. I'm going to do this one. Here. Little one? Oh, sorry, thanks. 16. Mm -hmm. I thought I could say about it. Oh, yeah, it's still. It's kind of finicky. Oh, it's okay. Yeah. 49. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> well, I, like, I like 22. <laughs> So, oh, that's then that's good. showing you, so you thought you poured the same, this is a smaller bowl, this is 10 grams, this is a bigger bowl, right. you did 16 grams, this one is 26 and 49. <laughs> so that's just so showing. Basically twice as much. Yeah, so yeah. bigger bowls, bigger eyes, <laughs> you pour more. That so there's scary. yours. All right. Okay. All right. Okay, so. Oh, you can use this yeah, one, too. Yeah, you can go that one. <laughs> you can, oh, yeah. Okay, so. Okay, so we will. We're going to tear it. Tear it. Mm -hmm. And then after you've um, weighed, take, we'll take a look at more bowls. of the containers okay. and stuff that we have set out while we're weighing. All right. 21 grams. That's pretty 25. good. 25 grams. And put the other big bowl on. The other small bowl. Okay. Even though this time it said 14 instead of 11. 16. 24. So that's just the weight of the bowl. Okay. Okay. And we'll put there this one on there and tear it. I yep. wish I had a pen. 21. Rewash them. Maybe, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so much uh, thank you. All right. If you want to stack it. Yeah. I think this is. All right, and then 30. we pre-measured Cheerios, and Cheerios and both Fruit Loops are a serving of 28 grams, one cup. So this is one cup of Cheerios in the big bowl, one cup of Cheerios in the small bowl. So you can kind of see what an actual serving is. Well, you did pretty good. <laughs> so does anybody want to share how they did? Portion wise, big bowl to small bowl. How many grams is that? 20, 20 28. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah, they're both 28 grams on cup. <laughs> yeah, good job. <laughs> and I know for my family, they use serving bowls. Good. For <laughs> the one cup is the but serving size, which is 28 grams. For a snack, okay, yeah. for dessert, really good. Like a little bit less my than kids, yeah. my husband than that one. love cereal. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, they love, you know, Fruit Loops and yeah. Yeah. At least your pen dessert, back. right? <laughs> Thank yeah. you. All right, yeah. so does anybody have any ideas of what else we can put in reusable containers? Or is there anything that talk to them, or do they think this is a good idea? Does anybody have any ideas? Oh, yeah, that's good. Awesome. That's awesome. The other thing is if you do put leftovers in there and you take it to work or even at home, don't warm your food up in plastic. Put it in a bowl because, mm -hmm. one, it won't hurt your hand and it's just better. So. Last time my daughter came, she threw every one away that I had. Oh, no, oh. it takes a lot of work collecting all those. <laughs> Hopefully she bought you a nice set of she rubber did. Oh. Yeah, she bought me a really nice set of those plastic with the 
top on them. That, that well, when you're good. doing this, you're also recycling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So anybody else have any ideas or did they like any of the things we talked about or put on here? I label things, but boy, this is really... Well, you don't have to do that much. <laughs> I don't know how many of my I have to label one day everything that goes in the refrigerator. See, it's just a good idea anyway, right? Anybody else have any ideas of what you can put in there for snacks or something? Cheerios? <laughs> Fruit Loops? <laughs> These are one cup. <laughs> so it's a quick reference. Yeah, that's true. And then how about, did anybody check out the scoops and measuring cups? I like yeah, I like and URM is less than a five minute drive here from here. Mm -hmm. It's like three minutes maybe mm -hmm. if you catch the light right. Well, <laughs> we also have ladles that are that yeah. measure up. Oh yeah. yeah. Good for That's good. Like Weight Watchers has three different sizes. And it has like the handle and everything? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. And, you, and it's just that that's serving. We should probably have those for Thanksgiving <laughs> a week from tomorrow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> we all over each other. Yeah. Um, does anybody else want to weigh anything or check out the bento boxes? I like those. Yeah, yeah, they yeah, yeah. and pretty good. inexpensive, and it separates things out. Are they microwave safe? Yes. Microwave safe, freezer safe, dishwasher safe. They do break down after a while, and like just the lids kind of crack, but you always have more lids there. <laughs> yeah, it would. Yeah, yeah TV. TV trees. TV trees. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> what could we put in the bento boxes to plan for dinner or lunch or so um, that could be like a sandwich, a half a sandwich, um, carrots and hummus, um, a salad. Anybody else? What could you put in there? Fruit. What would you? What would be a good lunch that you could put in there that you would you would pack for yourself? I think the salad with the meat and stuff. Like mm -hmm. you could have your meat and protein on one side. And yeah. Or just like dividing your plate. Or yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Make your own lunchables for kids because they love that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. I think I have that on here. So this is three ounces of deli turkey. Um, one ounce of cheese and six triscuits, and that's 295 calories. And you could put that in there too if you don't want it all to touch. Yeah. It's <laughs> about two cups. And the so about two cups. Uh, do you want to? These are two cups. And this is probably this each. Is a cup and a half. Here. And I bet each of these is a cup. Probably mm -hmm. so. And look at that. Yeah, I you <laughs> <laughs> You're not eating these for lunch with my hands all over them. No. <laughs> and we covered these up so nobody could see. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How much a serving was. Yeah, awesome. So yeah. Cup, cup and two cups. So that's a nice quick reference yeah. for portioning your lunch out. <laughs> Good. Thank you, Karen. Yeah. My pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Does anybody else have any questions or ideas that they want to share? Does anybody want to admit how they did with the Fruit Loops and the small bowl and the large bowl? I think I did pretty good. You I did. Bowls, yeah, you did. Grams and 25 grams. The yeah. fruit loops I had the big one, I had thirty grams. Pretty close though. More. Yeah. I did good on the cheerios. I pour in what I would eat, not what I should eat. <laughs> 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 she said, pour what you would normally eat. Yeah. Yeah. Well then I I don't like fruit loops, so I wouldn't pour that See, much. That's, yeah. Yeah. I wanted lucky charms because I do like lucky charms. <laughs> <laughs> that was an idea for one of those. I don't you, like lucky charms. See, and that's the thing is that, you know, because they have less sugar, we're gonna pour less just because we don't like them. Yeah. But something sweet and pretty and eye-pleasing we're going to pour more of because we like it. I did the opposite because I thought, oh, Fruit Loops are going to, you're not going to be able to eat as much because they're going to be super sugary and stuff. So I poured a whole bunch, but I love Cheerios too. So I poured <laughs> more Cheerios. 
I feel like that's the minority to like plain Cheerios. <laughs> I mean, I have to put like a banana and a little bit of sugar in them. Yeah. But um, so that was our activity. Did everybody find using the scales fairly easy? Mm -hmm. Did you like yeah. using the scales? Typically, scales are a great way to weigh things and food and snacks. And um, I think the lower end price for scales are like ten to twenty dollars. I think ours was twenty. So, I bought mine like five years ago on Amazon, okay. and it's still working good. Yeah. And these are my salad dressings for my salads during the week. Those are two ounce portion containers from Walmart, and I reuse them. So, I think fifty of them come in a package for like three bucks. And I'll put my salad dressing or peanut butter because peanut butter is very deceiving. <laughs> two tablespoons is a serving. That's 190 calories. You put that in there, and you know what you're getting, and you don't over give yourself peanut butter. But for salad dressing, peanut butter, it's a little hard to reuse them, but salad dressing, I just like rinse out the container and I'll just put more salad dressing in. You are in our cash and carry another place to buy those. Oh, do they have them too? Really yeah. hmm. right. So we are just showing you that one cup of each is a actual serving size. And that's all we have. Um, at the beginning of the slideshow, I just want to go back and oh, show yes. Tiana. So we were at URM. We had so much fun shopping. We went to URM, we went to Walmart and Winco. Um, but we were at URM, and they, if you really want to plan your meals out for it's an It's loading. <laughs> it's taking time. Um, there we go. Anyway, they had this huge pot that we could fit Tiana in. <laughs> <laughs> so if you really want to make a big pot of soup and last you all year long, <laughs> go get this big pot at URM. I think it was like a hundred dollars. It was like hundred and something. Something crazy. And this was a huge walk too. Like I know. <laughs> I was like, if we were in public. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. But so it's funny. You can really plan ahead or if you have a big family. So I feel like pot. on the shelf it's like you can't tell the size of it, it until was, you put me next to it. The picture was very, yeah, it was huge. Anyway, yeah. lots of containers at URM. Um, Winco has great prices, and they always do things priced by the ounce, so you can compare and know what you're getting. Awesome. Do you guys have any questions? I think it's very informative. Oh, good. Thank and you. I also put um, freezer meals, handouts, and the other handout that I made. So you guys can take this home. All right. I like that idea, the freezer meals. Yeah. Weird. Pinterest. <laughs> <laughs> like you said, it's a rabbit hole. I've gotten oh. <laughs> Where did I start? Thank you guys for coming. Yeah. We really appreciate all of you. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a great day.